Captain Gaz, Gary Miller. Let's go a drive. What's the work on this? East Coast Bride. I thought it just had to be East Coast Bride, you know, right. the, the ride along kind of thing. So, aye. How are you finding it here? Really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. It's been so good so far. And I think the gaffers put together a good team as well. So it's just about bedding in together. And then some of the results have been decent so far. We've had a good start. Especially, I think, compared to last season's start as well. The club's improved a bit. So, no, it's been enjoyable so far. Good. Well, now it's time to find out a bit about you. What is your first football memory? I think I used to always go and watch my two big brothers playing football, so my memory is probably watching them play. Right. Uh, I think my parents have got pictures of me there supporting them and whatever, and running about as a wee guy, probably being annoying. So, <laughs> yeah, my first memories for football is probably just watching my big brothers. Where did they used to play? Was it for a team? Uh, I think they played for Clay Bank and for Dentoka right. over my way, so. I think they would have been 9 and 12 at the time, 9 and 11, so just watching them and enjoying it. Uh, do you remember your first shirt, your first football shirt? My first football shirt? I think it would have been a Rangers strip or a Man United strip. That's a shame. Obviously growing up. That's a shame, that, isn't it? My family, uh, well, growing up in Sir Alex Ferguson, being such a influential Scotsman and Watching a lot of English football as well, everybody kind of had an eye on Man United, so... What year would that have been about? Uh, you don't need you, don't you, you too much where you I think I would have been about 10 in 2005, would I? <laughs> uh, that would be the 90s. Uh -huh. uh, Mid-90s, I think they had some crazy strips then. Mm. They had the infamous strip that Alex Ferguson said he didn't like because the players couldn't oh, see it, it or something, wasn't it? Grey, the grey one, one. yeah. So I never had that one right enough. No, but no, you've been tarnished forever with that. I know. Uh, what was the first football team you played for? I think it was Dentoka Boys Club. Right. I think that was like my first under tens team or whatever, and I was a striker. Right. Oh, were yeah, you really? Aye, striker. How did so, you find that? How did you end up well, dropping back? I was, I was quick. I was always quick, and obviously the older you get. And the taller I got, I was a striker, I think I was at Livingston. Mm -hmm. And I got moved back to right back, just like in a wee friendly game or something, because I was big and quite strong right. and physical and I had a good game at right back and then just developed from there. Played most of my youth career at right back or centre back. And then developed from there, yeah. Right. Who was your favourite player growing up? Growing up, uh, it was your gal belts. The hammer? Yeah, I remember. I was coming out of school and uh, I think my mum told me that uh, he'd left, he'd been sold and I was quite upset by that. Was it as bad as take that splitting up? Yeah, nearly, <laughs> nearly I. But no, I was devastated when he left and uh, I thought I just took to the hammer, I don't know, he was a left-sided player, so I'm nothing, uh, no, your most spectacular player compared to like Brian Loudrops and things like that, but he was the, the guy that I chose. Uh, he was a bit of a cult hero as well. Yeah, right? I was never crazy for following players and whatever, but I remember he was one of the only players I got my picture taken with at a young age. Oh, right. And then uh, they had that, the Masters or whatever was back. Oh, that's right. And right. Rangers were playing. And uh, it was no, it, was, I, it must have been Rangers because he was there and I got my picture taken with him again Brilliant. as a 33 year old man. <laughs> embarrassing as it is but again the only there was like loads of other players there and he was the only guy I was like oh I get my picture <laughs> it's embarrassing but I don't know I think, just, I think everybody kind of has the, the fangirl moment though yeah well, I, I would love to mine's like there you're saying Johan Mayo but mine was uh, mine was Johan Mayo but yours was George Alberts um, I absolutely adore Mayo and it was one of the ones if I was to see him just now I'd be going off my nut as well yeah, it was weird because again, I was sitting, uh, it was my friend Simon Church got me the tickets. I was meeting him for a coffee and like walked in and like Perez was sitting there and oh, one really? of my friends, uh, Stan Petrov, he joined us for a coffee as well. Just a wee name drop there. But looking across at Perez and I was like, but it wasn't the same as, uh, yeah. I just wanted a picture with Albert. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing but funny at the same time. <laughs> Who's your favourite football player, you know? 
just now. I was a big fan of Ronaldo. Uh, obviously, watching Man United when I was younger, I thought Ronaldo was amazing. But there's there's quite a lot coming through now. Yeah. Footballs totally changed the way it's like all the views you get now. Yeah. Everything, the cameras you can watch players. I think you look at Tony Cruz, you look at mm -hmm. Modric doing what they're doing just now at Real Madrid. You've got Messi. Yeah. Neymar and back. There's so many. I, know, just I, now feel, like, I feel like the list is the list is definitely growing. Is. It's so yeah. hard to choose, and then you start to feel like everybody's choosing the same mm -hmm. as well. So uh, it's hard to, to put it. But I, know I think you seen that with your team selection, where you're seven aside. Don't yeah, you? <laughs> I know. I think the young star uh, Jude Bellingham at Dortmund is mm -hmm. doing amazing, considering he's only 19 as well. And you uh, watch how good he's playing. Mm -hmm. Which the best ground you've played in? Uh, Anfield. Play when I was at Plymouth, we played Liverpool away in the cup. And How was that? Amazing. Well, I got injured in like the seventieth minute. I had ruptured my ankle. Did you just want the rousing applause when you were going up? I Is did. I, I was on the. Funnily enough, I don't remember it because I was on the gas and air. I went up with Origi and came down. I think it was like a slight nudge, maybe not even, but came down and my ankle just went right under me. And the physio came on and I was like, I'd injured it before, so I knew the pain. And I was like, nah, something isn't right. So they ran on and the wee stretcher, I think it was, the wee guy was like, do you want some gas in here? I was like, I right, go for it. <laughs> so by the time I got in the changing room, I was, but apparently I got a standing ovation coming off and that. My mum and my dad was there and my wee man and they were worried and right. came in the changing room and I was there nice and happy and full of smiles. Oh, good. What's a stadium you would have loved to have played in? I mean, you still might have the opportunity. You never uh, know. I don't know. You can take Cape Park if you're listening. Cape Park, Aye. brilliant setup. I think that when you were growing up watching all the Champions League ones and the the sort of one, like you'd love to play in the Bernabeu. And I think the San Siro when I was coming through Italia, all the Italian football yeah. was on as well. So the Gazetta, yeah, the Gazetta. So the Italian football. And, I used to always, we used to, my brothers and me used to always watch the football and I think uh, actually I happened to play at Rosenberg. Yeah. Uh, we played Rosenberg away when I was at St Johnston and we won 1-0 one and for me that was that was a big thing because that was a team you'd always watched when you were younger yeah. growing up, the, the Champions League games and they were always such a massive team so just a wee, a wee funny one like that where I was like wow that's an yeah. amazing trip, actually a really good stadium as well. What's a stadium you'd love to visit as a punter? A punter? Uh, probably the new camp. For my, more so for my son as well, to take him and show him and, and show him the new camp or probably the Allianz Arena. Mm -hmm. One of the they're building stadiums now that are incredible with the pitching come in and out. And yeah. I imagine Sorry, I back. imagine like the San Siro and that will look terrible compared to mm -hmm. like Spurs new one, Wembley. Allianz Arena are the new ones, so probably changes every time, doesn't uh, it? You feel like they're talking about rebuilding the San Siro? Or like yeah, you I feel think like they're trying to fix it up. You feel like these ones that have got the character from the history and just maybe starting to lose all of that as well? Yeah. But have you got a favourite football in memory from your career? <sighs> God. When I was young or Just in general, point? if you were to cover over. Anywhere you were, you were. Uh, probably quite a few. I remember. It's like St Johnston. I won a few things when I was at Ross County. I moved away at like eighteen or nineteen on my own. That was the very first time, and I was living alone. And then we won League League One at the end of that season. So obviously for me, that was my first big achievement. I was very young, living away on my own. So it's a memory like that. It's probably. You start to sort of worry at the time and you get a bit lonely and you think, geez, I'm 19, I've moved away. So when you get a big achievement like that, yeah. to see your family proud and you've been living away, it makes it feel a wee bit worthwhile, do you know what I mean? What would you say is your biggest achievement or would that, would that be it? Consider My biggest achievement? Uh, probably, yeah, probably winning the Scottish Cup was an amazing achievement. Got into the Scottish Cup final with Ross County as well, beating Celtic Park, uh, Celtic at Hamden in the semi-final as a championship team was huge. Just 
as well. But most of the memories are more you get to enjoy them with your family, yeah. rather than for myself. Because you know what football's like. As soon as a, a couple of days goes past or a week, you've got to move on to the next thing. Yeah. It's not something you get to enjoy. So probably these memories with my family is the most important. And looking back and remembering it that way, and they talk about how like their enjoyment of it and their view of it, whereas you're sort of stuck in the 90 minutes or playing the game and you don't quite get to enjoy it as much. I mean, obviously still amazing, but different views. It's, it's always good to have enjoyed it with them and the teammates that you shared it with as well. No, everybody gets to win a Scottish Cup. How is it as a player being on that pitch under that like, magnifying glass with the lights on you? It was... It's hard to explain. I remember when we were lining up against Dundee United when I was at Ross County, and like you line up, and there was fireworks going off, the music was on, like you could not hear each other, and you're shouting, you're trying. To, I think I was playing next to Big Scott Boyd, and you're trying to organise and you're trying to shout, and it like you're ten yards away, could not hear a thing. It was, it was wild. And then when they scored the first goal. And, you're a bit tired, it was roasting as well, so surreal, surreal that way, and then winning it with St Johnston at Celtic Park, I think Hamden was getting uh, was Commonwealth some of games, the Commonwealth huh? Games, so again, amazing, you never got to walk up the steps and stuff, but just when the final whistle went and everybody went crazy and you mm -hmm. sort of try to realise what you've achieved, and I don't think you do, and I might know until you retire and you look back, yeah. and you, you sort of feel it back again, it's more so what it meant to your family and I had my son on the pitch that day and hopefully something he'll always remember and uh, look back on so it's when it, you're talking earlier on how it all ties in with family and it stuff does and that's it's, the, moments it's the memories it. isn't it and it's obviously the playing and stuff's always enjoyable but when you get older and you always look back the people always talk about the teammates that they mm -hmm. shared it with and then the family and and stuff like that the game at the end of the day as, as long as you win it doesn't really matter how the game went Who's the best player you've played with? Uh, best player I've played with? That's, I don't know the best player I've played with. There's been a few players I've played with that I've had. Would it be easier to say who was the most enjoyable person you played with? There's probably a few of them. So I think uh, Michael Halloran at St Johnston was on great form when I was there just before he sort of built up to get his move to, to Rangers. A player with that speed and ability was amazing. Uh, another player that sits in Johnston now, Graham Carey. I played with him at Plymouth, and he was he was brilliant there. Like any time he needed a goal, stuff like that, he would he would hit one for thirty yards right in the top corner. And it's just he's had a great spell at that time. As such, as a, a great player I've played with, I would probably have to look through my teams and mm -hmm. decide that, but. I've played on some great teams in the sense my, the Ross County team that went all the way to the final was a great team. I mean, there might not have been where you stand out world-class quality player, but in the sense of a great team, I think we had a great team. Probably could say the same with the St Johnston teams that I was in. There was a team under Steve Lomas where we finished third, went on some good unbeaten runs in the Premiership, uh, stuff like that. So it's probably hard to pick it one player over the, the spell in my career. Uh, we'll move on to a few of your favourites. Have you got a favourite type of music? Uh, pretty mixed, to be honest. A young guy from Glasgow growing up, it was uh, probably a bit more techno mm -hmm. when I was younger, but it's a lot more relaxed now, like a bit of everything. But yeah, growing up, it was probably your Clubland mm -hmm. CDs and stuff like that. There's Neely's playlist that get you in. Neil's is not bad. Ronan had his on the other day and it was quite good. Uh, some of his music, but football music before a game tends to be a bit upbeat and uh, sort of that vibe, so it's all pretty similar. Have you got a favourite film? Uh, I think Man on Fire it was for a while, but I don't know, they're bringing out so many these uh, days. that I really like the new Top Gun Maverick. Right. Uh, that was good, but I, I watched quite a lot of films, yeah. so yeah, but I think Man on Fire was one of my favourites for the yeah. longest time there. I had you as a legally blonde kind of guy, but uh, that, was, that was up there until yeah. Top Gun. 
Uh, have you got a favourite type of food? Uh, pizza, probably. Can't uh, want a pizza. You'd, does pineapple belong on it? Nah, not for me. Mm, Although recently I've moved towards just having a margarita. Yeah. It seems to be be the way to go, but nah, pizza I think. Yeah. Have you got a favourite holiday destination? Uh, Vegas. Okay. I've only been once. I was supposed to go before Covid hit again. And uh, I was devastated when everything was shut down again. But I went there and it, I loved it. I only got to see probably half of it because there's so much to see. But I think I'm going to be gone there soon and hopefully go to New York and stuff. I've been yeah. to, I think I've been to all the hot countries when I was young. So, mm, well, still in good, my, still in my last years, I know. Still got the time. I take a good tan. So, it's just trying to. Uh, Start going and visiting places and seeing stuff now instead of lying on the beach. Uh, do you like city breaks then, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, Ronan insisted that I asked this question, who's your favourite player at EK? At EK? Uh, I think he just wants you to say him. I know, I'll probably have to say Ronan. Uh, Although, I've got a lot of good players and a lot of likeable guys, so it's hard to, to diss any of the other ones. But since Ronan asked, I'll say him just uh, to make him you feel can, better. You can tell me the truth off camera, but... Well, well now Neely's gone him on and say that it should be him. Oh, so geez. you can't please everybody though. You can't. Eh? Mm. But we're just pulling into K Park again. So thanks very much for your time, Gary. I really appreciate that. And all the best for the, the upcoming games. And but oh, another question: What do you plan on doing when you hang up your boots? When I hang up my boots, uh, well, I've got my coaching badges. Uh, I've trained as a PT, so a lot of athletic stuff is in there to right. do, but I'm coaching just now as well, so hopefully move into becoming an assistant coach or a manager in the next few years whenever I decide that that's enough. Yeah, but right. I'd like to think football's still going to be involved in there at some point, and yeah, right. that's what I'd like to do, I think, and take it for there. Right. Well, thanks very much for your time, Gary. Really appreciate it.